Hey guys, Puggos Pizzeria here, and in today's video, we finally got a better look at the Withered FNAF plushies. So, welcome back to your weekly FNAF news. One of the only Five Nights at Freddy's YouTube channel, or one of the many, because there's so many of them, who catches you up on all the recent Five Nights at Freddy's news. Now, I know I just recently made a FNAF news, but there has been so, so much recently happening that I decided I definitely had to make another video because of the insane amount of merch and news we got. Now, for one of the main things you clicked on the video for, the Withered Plushies. Yes, that's right. In one of Daco's recent videos, he revealed and showed off even more looks at the withered hex plush as well as mangle and a super cool hoodie so we're going over those first the first thing we get to see is a full look of the withered chica hex plush he showed a early prototype version and a later prototype version keep in mind all the withered plushies that i'm showing from here from Daco, he said are prototypes so none of these are finished versions i have to say this withered chica is looking absolutely amazing especially because how hard withered chica is because her entire head and face has to be kind of hollowish which is definitely very difficult for a plush and i think so far he's doing a great job at it now of course there's definitely a few things to fix it looks a little silly but i really am feeling great about this and the main the coolest wither that Daco showed off is the withered bonnie hex plushie which is nearly finished now with the mask on it doesn't i'm gonna be honest it looks really bad with the mask on like really really bad but with the mask off showing the actual withered bonnie face it looks absolutely incredible i am in love with this withered bonnie plush it looks so good the detail everything on this especially when it comes out is just absolutely phenomenal i can't get enough of this withered bonnie plush he also showed a better look at withered foxy he's basically finished and withered freddy he said doesn't look too good so they don't want to show him off yet so i'm so excited for these withered plushies he also showed a better look at the mango plush and and it's still very questionable. I know Mangle is a very hard plushie to make, so he said it's not finished, so I won't give too many opinions on that. And he also showed off, I normally don't talk about clothing, but this Shadow Bonnie hoodie. Oh my god, this is so cool. This Shadow Bonnie hoodie from Daco, I don't even know what to say. It looks so good. I will 100% be buying this and wearing this. All the details, the Shadow Bonnie details, I absolutely love it. But let's go check out some other merch news. One of the biggest ones being from Funko. Now, besides the whole waves, one of the coolest things that I'm most interested in is the Five Nights at Freddy's Bitty Pops. If you don't know what these are, they're teeny tiny Funko Pops that are tiny enough to eat and swallow, which I might do in a video because I think that's kind of funny. They showed off four different packs with a bunch of the main characters like Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, Springtrap. There's like, they're kind of like mystery minis right but only one of them is a mystery figure so you got to try and get the rare one like i think the rare one is spring trap and nightmare cupcake maybe there's baby blur funtime freddy funtime foxy nightmare freddy nightmare bunny a lot of really cool ones i think we're getting 12 tiny figures these figures are absolutely adorable you know i'm gonna try and find them in some toy on videos which looks super cool but going into the main funko merchandise of all the huge wave is we got a official look at the in-person plushies and figures so for the plushies we have santa freddy Jumbo Santa Freddy, Elf Bonnie, Snowman Chica, uh, Gingerbread Foxy, and ugh, Nutcracker Foxy. And if I have to be honest, meh, I don't really care about these. The Jumbo Santa Freddy, I think, is really nice, and the rest of the plush, I don't really care about. Chica looks really weird. I think if this plush was sitting alone without any Finding Santa Freddy's branding, I would have no idea that this is a Chica plush. The, oh my god, Nutcracker Foxy is absolutely disgusting. I will make sure to destroy one of these when I get it. He is so ugly, I can't stand it. Bonnie doesn't look great. Nor Tiny Santa Freddy doesn't look great. There's also the figures. The figures do look pretty nice, but I mean... It's so disappointing, a whole wave of Christmas merchandise. Come on, come on, give us FNAF Ruin and the Mimic. Give us the Withers. These are so meh. They're coming out in stores right now. They're, like, basically already available to buy. So you can go out and try and find them, I, I guess. I'm not super excited about these. I don't know how excited you guys are other. But let's get into some more exciting and more cool Five Nights at Freddy's merch news. Being Sanchi is back. You heard me right. The Sanchi Five Nights at Freddy's plushies are finally back with incredible looking Glamrock Freddy and Glamrock Chica plushies. These, hooey, ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Sanchi hasn't been making plushies since like 2015. Of course, they re-released their original ones, but those aren't new plushies. They're re-releases. And we finally got brand new. They look like they're from the game. They look like you went into Security Breach, you took a Glamrock Freddy plushie, you took a Glamrock Chica plushie, and you have them here. They are absolutely incredible. I cannot get enough of these plushies. They look so good. You can order them right now on Sanchi's website. They are a little bit 
pricey. They're like $45, which is definitely more expensive than a original Sanchi. They also made uh, some new pins. I, I mean, if you like pins, yeah, cool. They made a lot of pins. I don't care about pins. But I think these look really good. I am quite a huge fan of these. Of course, I will definitely be doing a review of these just because of how absolutely amazing they are. Now, for most people's favorite part of news, Five Nights at Freddy's movie news. The first one being the Five Nights at Freddy's movie runtime. This has been hugely debated as tons of sites keep changing and updating it, but it looks like we finally got the official runtime of one hour and 50 minutes. And hooey! That is a lot of Five Nights at Freddy's screen time, and I think that's about the perfect time. Anytime over two hours, which in my opinion would just be too long. That's too much Five Nights at Freddy's, and it would make the movie kind of drag and boring, and many people who aren't fans of Five Nights at Freddy's wouldn't enjoy a two, three hour long FNAF movie. That's just much too long, but if it's short, maybe like only an hour, that's not enough Five Nights at Freddy's not to get the story across, so I think an hour 50 is a very nice time. And for other Five Nights at Freddy's movie news, at the Universal Halloween Horror Nights, we get to see amazing, incredible looks of all the Five Nights at Freddy's animatronics. Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. Of course, Spring Trap Spring Bonnie isn't there because he's more, like, secret in the movie. We get to see the main four animatronics, and wow, I must say, these look absolutely incredible. I'm actually trying really hard to go to Halloween Horror Nights, so you might see an in-person video of me there right up next to these animatronics, which would be so cool. So I'm really trying to go there as these just look absolutely incredible. I absolutely love how these look. There's also been a few more variations of the Five Nights at Freddy's movie trailer. I won't show you because it's only a few different lines of dialogue. And they've also been playing the Five Nights at Freddy's one Living Tomb song song, you know, horror, horror, horror. We're waiting every night. You, you know that one. They've been playing that. It's some of the, the trailers and stuff, like Universal themselves have been playing that, which is really interesting. It'd be amazing to hear that in the actual movie itself. But, of course, it's kind of... We don't know. And the last huge Finance of Freddy's thing that happened is PAX West. Over this weekend, there was a huge Finance of Freddy's... Uh, I mean, video game convention with a massive Finance of Freddy's booth of tons of... Five Nights at Freddy's stuff, and what was the main thing there? They had some incredible looking animatronics, so you can meet some incredible people, but one of the main things is the demo of Help Wanted 2. Now, they let you play three games early from the brand new Five Nights at Freddy's VR game, FNAF VR 2, so what are they? Let me describe them to you, because uh, footage was strictly prohibited, so there's no videos, only people just describing what it is. The first game is a whack-a-mole type game, with Bon Bon, Bonnet, and Helpy, which sounds super cool, that sounds like a fun, not-so-scary game. The second game is some sort of game like the breaker room in FNAF Sister Location when you go up against Funtem Freddy, but instead of using a, like, bonbon lore, you point some sort of megaphone giant flashlight at him. I don't know exactly what that does, but it sounds really interesting. And the third coolest and most interesting thing is you're a repairman on this giant carousel, and you have to repair a thing in the middle, and once you repair it, the carousel starts spinning around, and like, moon or eclipse comes down, and he tries to attack you from the different carts and horses on the carousel, and then you gotta fend off against him for like, the three rows, which, oh my god, that sounds absolutely incredible. So, it's rumored that this is gonna come out around November, December time, so very very end of the year, so don't get get hyped up that it's gonna come out in, like next month in October. We gotta wait a few more months for the VR game, but people are saying FNAF VR was already incredible on its own, and this second game is a million times better, and FNAF VR was absolutely incredible, so I am so, so excited to see what this really has to offer. And yeah, that's it for your weekly FNAF news. I really hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you're most excited for. I'm so excited for those Withered Hex Plush or for FNAF VR 2 to come out. Those sound absolutely incredible. I really hope you guys enjoy. And yeah, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and all that good stuff. And yeah, I will see you all later. Good.